Hey everybody! My nephew is far away at college, so I'm putting together a little care package for him. And we all know there's no better gift than the gift of sausage. So today I'm making him these smoky beef and cheese pepper sticks that I know he's going to love. So let's get started. Sadly for my nephew, he doesn't eat pork, so this is going to be an all beefer. And I've got a nice big hunk of beef here that I put in the freezer a while back. And it's a good thing I did because you got to have some pretty deep pockets to get some beef in your mouth with the prices these days. So this is a nice lean beef knuckle, so I'm going to be adding in some fat trimmings. These happen to come from some beef head meat. And as usual, I'll be aiming for around 30% fat content. Let's take a look at the spice blend, and I want this one to be real beefy, kind of like a smoked brisket in flavor. So I'm using some spices here that I think are going to enhance the meatiness of that beef. So for my 10 pounds of beef, that's roughly four and a half kilos, I've got 100 grams of plain salt. This is 50 grams of coarse ground black pepper. I want a nice peppery bite, but I don't want that red pepper kind of heat. This is 10 grams of onion powder. I've got 10 grams of garlic powder. And this is 20 grams of white sugar because I like the way that sugar and smoke play together. And here is a scant one gram of ground cloves. I've never added any clove into my snack sticks, but recently I've been adding a little bit into my beef jerky and I really like what it does for the flavor there, so I'm gonna give it a shot in here. Now this is 11 grams of pink cure number one, and here I've got one half cup or 60 milliliters of Worcestershire sauce for that umami boost. And this is 120 grams of non-fat powdered milk for binder. Recently in the comments, somebody asked how to determine how much of each spice to put into your sausage, and it's a really good question, and the answer is that aside from the salt and the cure, it really doesn't matter. It's all very subjective, so look up a recipe that sounds good to you, mix it together, then fry up that little test patty that we're always doing, give it a taste, and from there you can adjust the flavor by adding in more of any one or all of the spices or bringing in some other spices that you like. And that way you can create a sausage that is unique and a sausage that you love. Oh, I'll just mix my spices together here. Shake them up and blend them really well. A little bit of clove. But the cure, I'll add in with the Worcestershire sauce to dissolve. Now it's time to glove up and give this a really good mix. This cotton liner is going to help me from freezing my fingers off down in there. So we'll add in our Worcestershire sauce and cure. And I'm also going to add in some water. Now here is one cup or 250 milliliters of water. Swirl that around. Make sure you get all of the cure out of the bottom of there. And get that all down into your sausage mix. Now 
And now it is time to mix the heck out of this. You're going to want to mix it and mix it for just about as long as you can take it. So a good 10 or 15 minutes until it gets really, really sticky. There we go. Now it is looking good and sticky. So now it's test patty time. Check out that bite. Very nice. It's very good. It's definitely got a nice beef forward kind of flavor, but I think I'm gonna add in some more of that black pepper. I'm gonna probably throw in another 20 grams or so, but I could easily see doubling the black pepper in this one. Now, this goes out into the refrigerator overnight to let that cure work its magic and kill any bacteria that might be swimming around in here. I'm not going to mix in the cheese just yet because overnight it tends to soak up too much moisture and then when I go to stuff the sausage it kind of smears and just kind of blends in with everything and I want nice little cheesy chunks in these snack sticks. So I'll get this out there and then we'll meet back here for Sausage Sunday tomorrow morning. Ah, here we are, bright and early on another Sausage Sunday, and it's a time shift today, so it feels even earlier than it is, but that's okay. I'm fueled on Folgers and the sheer excitement of cranking out a delicious snack stick. I mean, what could be more exciting than cranking one out on a Sunday morning? Now it's time to mix in the cheese, and this is high temp cheese, and you want to use this stuff because it's not going to melt during smoking. You could use regular cheese, but what is likely to happen is it's going to sweat out and the milk solids and fat are going to separate, leaving your cheese bits grainy or even leaving little hollow spots where they've kind of melted away in your snack sticks. Now this stuff is available from a lot of different sources online, and it comes in a bunch of flavors for whatever you want to make. I just want to toss that around until it's nice and evenly spread around. Trying not to bust up those cheese chunks much. I've got my 10 pound stuffer, snack stick horn, I've got 21 millimeter collagen casings which is what I always use for snack sticks, my hanging dowels, and of course Corn Pop is here to take care of business. So now let's fill her up and crank this sausage out. Oh yeah, smells like a really good meatloaf in here. <laughs> so now it's time to let these guys hang out here in the sausage closet, 
got my fan going underneath there and this is just going to give them a chance to kind of hydrate the inside of the casing get that filling to stick really well in there and actually dehydrate the outside of the casing to get that ready to soak up some smoke so i'm just going to leave them in here for about an hour while i go and clean up and get the smoker ready now we're going to continue drying these casings out here in the smoker that's going to be at about 100 to 110 degrees fahrenheit and that's a dry heat so there is no water down here in the water pan we'll let that go for just about an hour then we'll come out here and start up the smoke there we go nice and dry now ready to soak up some damp smoke so we'll get some water down in the water pan and i'm going to raise the temperature up to 140 degrees fahrenheit and start the smoke i'm using hickory today which is a really strong flavored smoke so i'm not going to have to put that much on here so for my schedule today i'll be going two hours at 140 degrees with smoke then i'll raise the temperature up to 150 degrees and continue to smoke them for one more hour then i'll pull the smoke and let continue to dry at that 150 degree temperature until they're as dry as I want them to be when they're finished then we'll quickly finish them off at 180 hit them with an ice bath and we'll be done all right two hours in we're looking good getting some nice red color now I'm going to go ahead and bump these up to 150, keep that smoke going for another hour, and then I will stop smoking, but continue to dry these out. But if you want to add more smoke to yours, you go right ahead. Ah, yeah. You can see they're getting drier, wrinkly all the way down here. Got a great color. Got my little temperature probe going on in there. And the amount of time that this will take you to get to this stage is going to vary depending on how thick your sausages are and how much moisture you've put in there. But these look just about right to me. So I'm going to pump this up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to pull these when I get an internal temperature of 155 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. You got your pepper sticks exactly how you want them so you really want to cool them down just as fast as you can to stop any additional cooking so get them in an ice bath leave them down in there for a few minutes to get that core temperature dropping now it's back into the sausage closet for a nice air dry over the fan once they're nice and dry, I will pop them into the refrigerator overnight and we will try these guys in the morning. Oh, that smells so good in here. <laughs> finally time to see how we did get a look at that that has got some beautiful color you can see the little black pepper flakes in there and even some of the cheese now of course what really matters is the taste check out that bite oh yes <laughs> These are absolutely perfect. I couldn't ask for a better result. It's got a really great flavor from the spices and the cheese and that smoke just brings it all together. Got a real good snap on that casing. Oh yeah. And they're not too salty or greasy, which is often the case with some store-bought sticks. Let's take a look inside. Oh man, check out that grain. 
and those little cheese bits are all still intact. Plenty of pepper. It's fantastic. <laughs> now these ones took a lot of extra work this time. I'm using a very basic smoker and because it was so cold and windy all day I had to keep a close eye on the temperature so I was up and down the stairs dozens of times checking up on them and tweaking the temperature here and there. I've never really been much for the set it and forget it type of equipment. I like to be engaged and immersed in the process all the way through. Of course there is something to be said for convenience and maybe someday I'll cave into it. But I'm not there yet, and even though these took quite a bit of work and time to make, the results are worth every moment. Thanks for watching. Oh, man, that is some good stuff. <laughs>